one of my favorite quotes from the Quran and we have been repeating this quote a lot over the last week or so and that quote is or I am I'm paraphrasing where it says do you believe or do you say that you believe and not be tried actions speak louder than words do you believe and and think that you're not going to be tried or in the hood eventually your whole car going to get pulled that's that's how we say it in the ghetto, in the hood. Your whole car is going to get pulled. So, what brings me to this topic is, I'm watching uh, NBC, I believe. I love that sister. Shout out to our sister, uh, Donya Backus. She's a, a descendant of the... Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street <clears throat> family. Shout out to Donya Bacchus. Or oh, is that CBS News? It was CBS News. Donya Bacchus. It's CBS. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I get all that stuff mixed up because I, cause I really don't care. <laughs> but I love Donya Bacchus. <clears throat> so I'm looking at a story talking about the famine that's going on in South Sudan Africa been going doing it for a, a while this this famine and of course human suffering is very hard difficult to look at nobody that has any kind of humanity how can you tolerate watching others suffer especially these are Africans this is South Sudan Africa I don't keep up with the continent of Africa I I don't know where South Sudan is I, I don't I don't keep it with all, but these Pan Africans are African experts. They know all about Africa. Except, and, and before I came, uh, decided to do this video, I did a YouTube Google search because I want to, I want to be fair, I want to be honest. I want to talk about three. There are many Pan-Africans out there. Uh, there's, there's one called Pan-Africanism Strikes Back. Of course, our friendly neighborhood sewer rat, Gay Nollywood Jr., uh, supposed to be a Pan-African. Umar Johnson and uh, this fella, the uh, search for Uhuru, whatever. Uh, th this, I did a, a, a Google search. Now they want to come to us and speak about the beauty of Africa. And of course, there are, and I would assume there are nice places in Africa because these are the only places you will go. You will not see search for Uhuru in South Sudan, Africa. You will not see him there. You will not see Dr. Umar, the most what the, the most requested black scholar in the world, you will not see him in South Sudan, Africa. You will only see them in places where they can sit at a swimming pool and have a good time and you know live the life as as the as the African European that they are. So just to be fair, I did. I did a quick YouTube Google search or whatever. 
They're not talking about the famine in Africa. They're not talking about those places in Africa that need help. Why, search of Uhuru? Why aren't you talking about these places in Africa that need help? Dr. Umar Johnson, the, the Pan-African community. Since Africa is so great. Oh, let's go all the way. Let's go back to Africa. Go back to South Sudan, maybe. And when I'm looking or I'm listening to the story, I'm trying to see if there are any Pan-Africans, Black Americans, trying to help their African brothers and sisters in the Sudan. I don't see any faces. I did a Google search. They're not even talking about it at all. Because if you bring the subject up, people are going to say, what are you going to do? What are you doing to help your people, your people in South Sudan? Not, and I'm very sure Africa is a very large continent. I'm very sure there's famine. I mean, good, good Lord. Africa is a starving continent. These these persons on the on the continent have been starving ever since I was a little boy. I always show the commercials the little the little black child eating eating some rice or something, flies buzzing around. Remember USA for Africa. That was 1985 or something like that. Damn, Africa been stuck. It's nothing to laugh at, but Africa been starving a long time. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a better day, so let's start giving. <laughs> Apparently, we ain't gave enough. Because this is 2022. And they still eating peanut butter, old peanut butter, and rice and grits. <laughs> that's, the, that's the ghetto care package. Do you believe or say you believe and not be tried? Do you think that your whole cart not going to get pulled? Actions speak louder than words. So, what is such a hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo? What is he doing? He's not asking his audience to help the Sudan or, or nobody in trouble in Africa. Search of Uhuru is asking you to go in your pocket and buy his documentary, his film. They always sell him documentaries, movies, DVDs, and tapes. <laughs> That's all these people do. Buy my documentary. To benefit who? Those who are starving in Sudan, your brothers and sisters in Africa? No. For your own personal pocket. That's what you're doing. When you see Search for Uhuru, he goes to Africa, always eating good food. So many people on the continent, starving, don't have good water, no food. There was a, a lady, and we don't know how old she was. She said she barely had anything to eat within the last two weeks. We have the nerve to complain. We get a, see the, the see when you come to America, some of y'all can get food stamps. And you can get a little medical care. When you are in Africa, you're not going to get nothing except some flies and some corrupt leadership that don't give a damn about the people. But the Pan-Africans tell us it's so great. And we know many black Americans ain't going to go to no Africa because it's too many benefits. Yeah, America does have it's it's evil. Uh, it's it's freaky. 
Africa has a lot of, I mean, America has a lot of bad points. But y'all ain't so stupid. These Pan-Africans not so stupid that pack their bags and go to a foreign place. Because you ain't gonna get, you are on your own. You're not gonna get any help. And apparently, you're not gonna help your own brothers and sisters. Love Africa. See, these people are just so, they fraud and fake. They're not going, the majority of them are not going to go to Africa. It's a foreign place. You don't know the culture. You don't know the language. And you could end up in a situation like uh, South Sudan, which chances are that's a man-made famine. Because these people on the continent are fighting. There are civil wars going on and tribal wars going on. Uh, if you're a woman, you could be messed around and get raped repeatedly by these people. You, you don't want to mess around. And on top of that, many of these people don't like black Americans. They will tell you in your face, you are a white man. You're not no African. They will take your money. They will take your sex. You mean nothing to them. But, but in the delusional land of Pan-African, let me tell you what Pan-Africanism is. Pan-Africanism simply is wanting to unite the melanated people in Africa and around the world. That's all it is. All this other added attraction stuff, that's not what Pan-Africanism is about. Pan-Africanism is not about me trying to be somebody on that continent. I should be able to be, if I'm an African, I should be an African in America and be who I am. Not try to take on the ways and the culture of other people I have no idea it's foreign, it's about. I can create my own culture. My own language. We can be like James Brown. I can get up, do my thing. This brand new Pan Africanism, because if you study Garvey, this does not reflect the Universal Negro Improvement Association. This Pan Africanism, and look how divided they are. They are talking about Pan Africanism. And here you are, the Pan-Africans in this country, black American Pan-Africans, you are not united. How? How the hell can you get angry about people not wanting, wanting to go to Africa and claiming to be an African? Here you are in this nation Pan, black Pan-Africans Americans living in America You can't get yourself together All of you are black Americans Who believe in Pan-Africanism And y'all can't get together You can't unite yourself In America With the same language Coming from the same place But you So smart you can go to Africa and unite Africa. Stupid concept. You can't take control of a state or a city in America, but you can go to Africa and build a whole nation. The whole thing sounds stupid. And that's why I suggest to us that we get on board the Soul Train and whether the people support or not, get on board the Soul Train the best and the most realistic solution to our problem is what we call Operation Exodus Mississippi Campaign. All this other stuff, 